Hey everyone, it's Asha. Welcome to or welcome back to Reading with Asha for today's video. I am so pumped and I know you're so pumped too. That's probably why you clicked on this video because you love bookstore vlogs, reading, shopping vlogs, whatever it may be. I decided today when I woke up, I was kind of sad and kind of really tired. So I was like, you know what? I need to film a video for my book channel and I need to go to the bookstore because that's the only except. So. Do I have so many books that I need to read that I also posted a video, my last video was a TBR cart, which all the books I need to read. Yes, I have a ton of books I need to read, but do I wanna buy more books? I absolutely do. But here's a good thing about this. I'm not spending my money. I have a gift card with like $40 on it. So I'm going to use that to buy the book. So don't even worry about it. But I think I said a couple of videos ago, I just really been wanting some more Taylor Jenkins Reid books because I have read a couple of them by her and I loved pretty much every single one I read. So I wanted to go get some more. So I got dressed. I got cute. I got my little itty bitty shirt on. Got my cute pants on. I feel like this makes me look kind of tan and I'm really pale. But we're gonna go to the bookstore, specifically Books A Million, because that's where I have a gift card for. So we're gonna drive over there, jam out in the car, and I'm gonna get Taylor Jenkins Read Books. I don't know which ones I want to get for sure yet, but I have my eyes set on Carrie Soto is Back, and maybe after I do, or Forever Interrupted, is that what it's called? I have no idea. But we're just gonna go there and we're gonna look, and maybe I'll end up getting another book too, so. We'll just see. Comment down below how your day is going today and comment down below a book that you've gotten or bought recently. It can even be from Christmas, whatever you want. But let's go to the bookstore. I also wanted to give an honorable mention to the two books that I'm already reading right now. I'm actually like still, I know I've said this in every single video, but I'm still going through I think it's called a touch of ruin book. I can't read it, you guys. It's just, it's not giving. I just, I wish I could read it, but it's not like making me hooked onto it. And so that's why I wanted to get a Taylor Jenkins read book. So the last book I read by her, I felt so compelled to continue reading. It kind of sucks. And I'm also, I started Percy Jackson, but I'm like not that far into it. So I don't have to continue reading it right now. I definitely want to read that, but if there's something else that I wanna read more right now, I'm gonna do that because I've kind of been in a reading slump except for books that I have to read for school, which I've been reading so many books for school, but I haven't been doing much personal reading or just reading for fun, which I'm like, oh, I don't have time to do this. I have to read so much for school, but I definitely do because I have like 12 hour screen time or something crazy on my phone. So girl, be for real. You have time to read. Let's be for real, okay? So. Just wanted to give an honorable mention to those books that I'm gonna be putting back on my shelf and not finishing right now. Unfortunately, it's also a little bit chilly outside, so I think it's a lot warmer than it was. Like, I don't need a full coat, but I'm gonna wear this little pink warm jacket to keep myself warm. I feel like it's, hey Google, what's the temperature? Okay, it's 45 degrees, but it's windy, so it feels like it's 38, so I definitely need to wear a jacket. So I'm gonna wear this little jacket that I got from Urban Outfitters. Also, this top is from Brandy. Pants are from Urban. This is also from Urban. And I love it. So we're gonna wear this. There. We're ready for the bookstore. We have arrived at the bookstore, Books A Million. And it's pretty packed, so I'm a little nervous, but it's fine, I'm just gonna continue. Just Let me just pretend like nobody else is in there and it's my whole own world, that's what I'm gonna do. But I'm excited, it's just so packed. It's also Saturday, so I kind of forgot that it would be probably really packed. It's like 3.30 right now on a Saturday, so a lot of people are here, unfortunately, but um, hopefully I can still not be stressed out. At least this store is really big because whenever I go to Barnes, like the Barnes that I have is not big at all. And so when there's a lot of people there, it feels like way too much. I hate being in a store when there's so many people. It just overstimulates me so bad and I just hate it. So we're here and gonna get some books and I'm excited about it. Got all the dads pulling up with their little daughters coming to get their books. I love that, my dad used to do that. I love it. So here we go, I'm gonna put my mask on as well so nobody tries to talk to me some reason, well not for some reason, I feel like people now just assume that if you wear a mask, you're sick. So when I put my mask on, nobody tries to talk to me. Slay, 
I do this at school as well. And I don't also have to say hello to anyone I know because I'm wearing a mask. So they probably don't even notice me. You know what I mean? Just a little life tip if you don't like talking to people. So I feel like this sounded bratty of me, but I swear, I like talking to people. It's just sometimes I just want to be in my own head and that's it. We're ready to go. Let's go shopping. I get so excited about these every time I come in. Comment down below if you've read them. Always, they have so many good books on sale as well. We have all of these, and there's also so much Ellen Hildebrand books, which you'll see in a second here. I see this book all the time, The Perfect Couple. I'm pretty sure it's becoming a TV show. I got it for my grandma for Christmas, so I think it's becoming a Netflix show, and I haven't read it. Also, this Abby Jimenez book, Life's Too Short. I have this, but she's a really popular author right now. The young adult bargain price section always has so many good books by so many different authors. I've read quite a few of these. Like, look, there's the Twilight books right here. Also, it had the new Kira Cass book. Has anyone read that? She's the author of the Selection series, which I thought was such a fun series. So I was just wondering. Next up, I was, you know, in the fiction section. I have the first one of these books. And then here's my Taylor Jenkins read that I was looking for. For some reason, I always feel like it's weird that that whole series, the Crush series, is in the young adult section because why did I think it wasn't young adult? I don't know. Let me know. Got my book though. All right, we're back in the car. I got a lot of clips on my phone, thank goodness. But I need to put my hand sanitizer on. I got two books and it didn't cost me anything because of the fact that I had a gift card, which I thought my gift card only had $40 on it, but the total was $44, $44.20, and I still have 48 cents left on my gift card, so I must have had $45 on it, and it paid for it perfectly, so it's just meant to be. But I kind of think I showed with the first book I got, um, I got Carrie Soto is Back by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I was really excited to read this one and wanted to read it because I just read Malibu Rising. And if you guys don't know, the worlds kind of interconnect. Carrie Soto is not like a main character, but a side character in that book, kind of. Um, she's a small part. I mean, she's kind of a big part of the plot, but she's not really in it. So I really wanted to read this. I feel like this is the one I'm gonna read next. I might start reading this when I get home. It just kind of depends on when I finish editing and doing all my fun stuff I have to do. And then I didn't know what I should get because it was between Forever Interrupted, maybe in another life, and After I Do. So I posted on my bookstagram story and asked you guys which one out of the three I should get. Maybe in another life, Forever Interrupted, or After I Do, and 48% said maybe in another life. 20% said Forever Interrupted and After I Do was 32% and 55 people voted for Maybe in Another Life so I ended up getting that. It was really close though to After I Do so I definitely will probably get that one next after I read this. But yeah, that's what I got and I'm so excited now to go read these. And also I feel like this cover is so cute and no, I just really like the covers. The colors on the covers. I'm sad that this isn't a paperback but I know it kind of came out fairly recently so... I also didn't think I was going to read this anytime soon. I was like, eh, I don't really care. That's not interesting. But now that I read Malibu Rising and I kind of had my, kind of remembered my love for Taylor Jenkins Reid's writing, I just really wanted to read it. So I'm so excited about this. I just know it's going to be so good. I think Haley Fam just read this as well. Let me know if you guys have read either of these. I know a lot of people are big Taylor Jenkins Reid fans and she's a big, you know, book talk author like very popular on book talk but i think for good reason i feel like it's stupid if people judge based off of books that are popular in book talk like i just think it's so dumb i mean even they have book talk sections and all of these bookstores i'm pretty sure like 
a majority of the people I know who have their own bookstores or booktubers or whatever go in and they have a whole book talk section. Some people just are so judgy about that and it's just so stupid. It's like read whatever you want to read, you know what I mean? People get judgy about Colleen Hoover and stuff. It's like who cares as long as you're reading and having fun, that's all that matters and you're not hurting anyone else. So we're not going to judge each other based off of our reading. This is a safe space and I just think it's stupid. So anyway, I got my books. I'm gonna go home now and I'm so excited that I got these books. It just made my day so much better. So I'm very excited to go home now. I recorded quite a few clips in the bookstore just on my phone. It made me a lot less nervous. So I'm home now as you can tell. It's actually the next day. But I did give you a little haul of the books that I got. I didn't really speak about what they're about, so, so I'm gonna do that before we wrap the video up. But as I said, I got Maybe in Another Life by Taylor Jenkins Reid. This was a really close choose between this and After I Do, I believe, but most people wanted me to read this, so I got this one. Also, like I said, cover super cute. And then I got Kiri Soto is back, so I'm gonna talk a little bit, just read the back of the books, tell you what they're about. So this one says, at the age of 29, Hannah Martin still has no idea what she wants to do with her life. She's lived in six different cities and has had countless meaningless jobs since college, but on the heels of a disastrous Blake breakup, she finally has returned to her hometown of Los Angeles. Las? Los Angeles. To celebrate her first night back, her best friend Gabby takes Hannah out to a bar where she bumps into her high school boyfriend Ethan. It's just past night, midnight when Gabby asks Hannah if she's ready to go. Ethan quickly offers to give her a ride later if she wants to stay. Hannah hesitates. What happens if she leaves with Gabby? What happens if she leaves with Ethan? In concurrent storylines, Hannah lives out the effects of each decision. Quickly, these parallel universes develop into a surprisingly different stories with far-reaching consequences for Hannah and the people around her, raising questions including, is anything meant to be? How much in our lives is determined by chance? And perhaps most compellingly, is there such thing as a soulmate? Hannah believes there is, and in both worlds, she believes she's found him. So that's what this is about. And I actually think Ava Jules read this book and that's how I kind of know about the story of this a little bit. I didn't remember the name of it until I just read the back right now and now I kind of am, it's kind of, you know, coming back to me. But yeah, I definitely want to read this eventually. And I know I just love Taylor Jenkins Reid, so I just feel like I'm really gonna like this book. Next up, I got Carrie Soto is Back, which I talked a little bit about, but I just read Malibu Rising and Carrie Soto is kind of a character in that book. So this is about Carrie Soto. Carrie Soto is fierce and her determination to win at any cost has not made her popular. But by the time she returns from tennis, she's the best player the world has ever seen. She has shattered every record and claimed 20 Grand Slam titles. And if you ask Carrie, she's entitled to everyone. She has sacrificed nearly every Thing to become the best with her father Javier as her coach a former champion himself Javier has trained her since the age of two but six years after her retirement Carrie found herself sitting in the stands of the 1994 US Open watching her record be taken from her by a brutal stunning player named Nikki Chan at 37 years old Carrie me makes the monumental decision to come out of retirement and be coached by her father for one of the last year an attempt to reclaim her record. Even if the sports media say that they never liked the battle axe anyway, even if her body doesn't move fast as it used to, and even if it means swallowing her pride to train with the man she once almost opened her heart to, Bo Huntley, like her, he has something to prove before he gives up the game forever. In spite of it all, Carrie Soto is back for one epic final season in this riveting and unforgettable novel, Taylor Jenkins Reid tells her most vulnerable emotional story yet. So I really didn't care about reading this when it first came out. I was like, yeah, I'll read it. But ever since I read Malibu Rising, I really want to read this. And also, I think I saw Haley Pham read this recently, and she really liked it. So that kind of inspired me. Let's see what it looks like with the dust jacket off. Okay, it's pretty plain. Looks like Hufflepuff colors. Anyways, that's what I got from the bookstore. Book shopping was really fun. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me. And again, let me know if you've gotten any new books recently or if you read either of these, because if you have, I want to know what you think about them. I'm going to start reading Carrie Soto is Back ASAP. So if you guys want a reading vlog or anything like that, just let me know in the comments down below. You can also give me book recommendations, book video recommendations, etc. really anything you want. And I love you all so much, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Love you.